Hello and good day, eh? Welcome to the Super Good Camping Podcast. My name is Pamela. I'm Tim. And we are from supergoodcamping.com. We're here because we are on a mission to inspire other people to get outside and enjoy camping adventures such as we have as a family. Today, because we are the tree huggers that we are, we wanted to just talk a little bit about trying to be maybe a little more eco-conscious when we're traveling to and or from camping. Yeah, there's uh well there's a few things that that we as a as a community uh do that I think are counter to our values maybe. And, and I get it. So maybe maybe more than anything I, I will offer up a, a few things that we could lessen our carbon footprint, but but probably more than anything I'm this is a, an invitation to educate me, I'll offer for suggestions on like a we're destination specific, so that's a bit of an issue. In order to go f- far away from other people, it, it involves jumping in a car as as often as not, uh, burning a bunch of gas. Although you know, hopefully at some point we're starting to see more electric cars out there or, or trucks or whatnot. You know, we at <laughs> that's how you get to the places that that we like to to hike and camp and canoe and and do all the all the things. Uh, I have seen that, you know, people buddy up, which is great. Instead of each of us driving a, a car, you know, two people, one car, away you go. There are things like Park Bus, uh, which is a service here in Ontario. And I think they're in BC as well, um, where it's, uh, they, they go, okay, we're going to go to these three places on on this day. We drop people off. Uh, some of them are day hikes, you know, what have you. Some of them are, we'll drop you off. We'll pick you up in three days. We're, we're going to come back through in three days and you can jump back in. I'm sure that things like getting your canoe in the overhead luggage bin isn't going to happen, but, but, but I'm also sure that they're, they're pretty, they're pretty smart cookies. I've been watching them since, since they started back. Oh, I don't even know now at hazard five, six years, something like that. And I'm sure that they have setups with like an outfitter, you know, Algonquin Outfitters or, or whoever, whatever, wherever they're dropping you. So you could, you could, you know, take your, take your tent and your sleeping bag and, and a bunch of food and then, and rent a canoe um, and a PFD or, or what have you from, from the, the outfitter. You know, there are, there are train rides that you can take, uh, but as a general rule, you have to drive to the very remote place to get on the train and then take the train from there. But that would be a, you know, a less, a less carbon footprint sort of thing. Um, there's fly, fly in, but that's very not good. It gets Perfect. you to very cool places, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, burning fuel, and it's that's the one I keep. I keep, you know, it's like we're. We're trying to not burn the planet down. We're trying to save nature and stuff like that. And yet here we are. This is, it's, we're, we're a huge, we, we commit a lot of atrocities with, with vehicles. I just, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Educate me. Let me, let me know what your thoughts yeah, are. Yeah, we'd love any input if anybody can come up with any other ideas. Uh, so carpooling to camping, that would be better than single people going or even just two people going in two different vehicles when it, it cuts have, the number of vehicles yeah. and the amount of emissions down in yes, half right absolutely so. so that would be awesome I mean, if we could all afford green vehicles we would love that but at the moment it's not in everyone's they're a little budget. pricey yeah yeah, yeah. Um, teleportation would be awesome if somebody could oh, figure that out that's what i need to work Jeez, on I, that I'm the cloning machine disappointed in all my life that nobody's come up with that yet <laughs> come on star trek has it figured out why can't we <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, otherwise just, um, trying to go closer to home, I suppose, but that's, you know, that the, the good places are the far away ones <laughs> so where, where the beauty really lies is often not super close to the big cities like us. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, and another, another one that, that I, I, again, I, I don't know what the answer is single use plastics, you know, for those of us that, that go into the back country, vacuum packed meals dehydrated vacuum packed meals. So you're either, you're either buying them off the shelf, you know, a, a backpackers pantry or something, you know, wh- whatever. There's a, there's a whole bunch of different manufacturers. Um, OTG meals. It's, it's still, it's so far as I understand, it's still a single use piece of plastic and then you're bringing it out, which is great and recycling, but part of the, part of the three R's, right? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Recycle's the last thing. So, you know, we've got a, no, oh, I don't know what you call it—a food saver, like a vacuum, a vacuum machine uh, with rolls of 
of plastic and, and it makes them small and it doesn't add a lot of weight to it and stuff like that. But I am, I feel I, I, I'm, I do better now. I don't burn it like I used to. I, I do still pack it out, but it, it comes back to recycling. I don't know. I would like to I'd like to know a better way to reduce it. Is there is there a bagging system that I don't know that still isn't heavy and I can use it that for the for, you know for the next trip, like re, repack with whatever. Um well, and along those lines too, I like reducing um maybe being able to rehome your camping gear everybody likes to get new stuff but if we can rehome <laughs> no, the I things don't. that are <laughs> well uh, your your amazon history would speak which would, would, would um, point out that i'm a liar <laughs> the uh but yeah so being able to rehome some of your camping gear if it's stuff that's still usable that maybe it's not the top of the line or maybe it's not all spanking you but um, somebody else could certainly get some use out of it. So rather than everybody's purchasing new stuff or throw away um, things, if we can buy sometimes if the budget allows better quality so that it's something that lasts longer, not something that you're just going to get a season or two out of, and then it's going to end up in the garbage. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, there's a, a I, I have mentioned this more than once before. There's a ton of different um, Facebook groups, uh, camping related, whether it's used gear, buy and sell. Uh, even if it was, you know, there's back country ones, there's, there's front country ones, you know, I'm pretty sure it'd be pretty easy to figure out a way to, to rehome your, your gear. If you're, if you are, if you're making that upgrade, upgrade. yeah, that's, that's a perfect word for it. Um, or you found that you, you bought something that, you know, it's, it's, too narrow for you or whatever right well we certainly have had that happen right it was a well-reviewed tent and got it and it's like oh we can't sit up in this even <laughs> <laughs> yep and I'm, I'm too old to not be able to do that yeah and 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 uh you know there are it, not instagram groups but but threads uh what's the new one blue sky you know i'm sure that that sort of stuff is going to those communities are going to happen in in those areas um in the offline community, there's always thrift shops. So, so if it's something you don't need to recoup any of the money out of, right. donating yep. it to a yep. thrift shop, Value Village. Yeah, or, or even, I mean, there are programs we, we do, uh, uh, we help out a bit with a, a food insecurity group sort of deal through through a, a, a local organization. I'm pretty sure through them we could, if I had gear to to unload um, to housing insecure folks, uh, they could they could probably help us out with that. So yeah, sleeping bag that still has some life in it, or yep. a tent, or a tent that. But although I tend to I tend to ride those things right to the end, I just, <laughs> I just have a bunch of them. <laughs> That's We're how riding I get, them all. Too. That's <laughs> how I get more life out of my tents by just <laughs> rotating through them. Right, it's the plastic one bugs me bugs me a lot. Cause I haven't been able to figure that one out at all. Like I can, you know, we can, we can pack four people in two canoes, whatever, and, and make the, make the car ride be less, less bad, but I can't, I don't, I don't know how to do the, I don't know how to do the plastic thing. Well, on the, the plus side with the dehydrated, dehydrating your own food, sealing it in the plastic, at least there's less food waste. So things that might be like vanilla, not going to get used in the next a while before it goes off then it can get dehydrated and stored for future camping right I, I do do that um if we have leftover who knows whatever uh yeah or, or a, a mango that's like oh that's going to go off in the next couple of days i'll i'll slice that puppy up and, and dehydrate that and it'll be a nice snack next july yeah that's it I'm, that's so, so yeah send, send us your suggestions let's uh, we can do we'll we'll do a, a future episode with everybody's ideas and and maybe maybe make the world a better place yeah maybe we can collaborate on trying to figure out what's the best way to reduce our carbon footprint when it comes to camping yeah well i mean <laughs> i was just thinking riley riley has managed to do that by going to heck with it. I'm out of the city. I'm going to move closer to where I, I'm going to be doing those things. So I won't, I won't drive so much. And I believe that was Camper Christina's modus operandi too, was like, I'm going to live somewhere where it's close to where I can camp. Cause I can get out the door quicker and yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's it that we're all just going to move up North <laughs> and, and then we'll carpool from there. Awesome. All right. 
That's it for us for today. Thank you so much for listening. Please do tune in again soon. And if you would like to reach out to us, we are on all the social media, including Blue Sky. And you can always email us at hi at supergoodcamping.com. That's hi at supergoodcamping.com. And you can leave a comment on our YouTube channel if you want to have some input as to how we could maybe reduce our carbon footprint and do better with reduce, reuse, recycle for camping. And we will talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.